fellow Virgos, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I'm going to do a love reading for you guys for the month. It's going to go from June 15th to July 15th, 2018. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so very much for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Virgo, please do subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. So for this reading for you guys, I am using Tarot of Sexual Magic. Amazing, powerful cards. We're going to do singles first, and then we'll move into couples. So all my single Virgo spirit, all my single Virgo subscribers for June 15th to July 15th, 2018. What does Virgo need to know in love? Virgo. All my Virgo single subscribers. It's perfect. Virgo, keep in mind, um, if the reading doesn't resonate, watch your other signs. And also, these are not traditional tarot, so they do not have the same meanings. Queen of Cups. Four of Swords. Five of Wands. I'm going to get you an overall energy with the Romance Angels card. This will be the overall energy for the month for my single Virgo spirit. June 15th, July 15th, 2018. Virgo. Virgo singles. Okay, beautiful. This one wants to come. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Beautiful. This is, you know, if, you, if you're single, it's the universe saying, open up, put yourself out there. Four of Swords. For some of you, this is definitely clinging to someone. Someone needs to get rid of their mental hang-ups. Five of Wands. This is someone spying on you. If you're single, you're the one that's, that is lurking or someone else is lurking in on your relationship. You know, probably, you know, definitely trying to break you up. Others of you are meeting someone new, possibly a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This could just represent a beautiful, loving, caring energy, someone that is absolutely there for you. You know, they're absolutely going to help you get through this. You know, she's very loving, nurturing, and kind. Let's take a look at her. Yeah. Queen of Cups for my single Virgos. Why is the Queen of Cups here? I that actually feels good. The Ten of Swords. Wow, there's your big love. Okay. You have the Ten of Swords. Sorry. And the Three of um, Pentacles. So you, you definitely have been through some stuff. Probably very emotional shit. You, you're ending something. You're saying... You're saying bye. And here's your new love. And this is a big love, guys. You're very, very happy. I get the feeling you've... Been through it, too. But you're both happy. Let's look at your lurker. Ew, he's creepy. You know, you... Interesting. Hmm. 
How do I want to say this? You could have gone through a breakup and now you're single and the person has been trying to get a hold of you for whatever reason. And with the with temperance on the five of wands, you're going to have to be patient with this person that's trying to get a hold of you. Let them loose. Let them go. Do whatever you have to do. You know, emotionally, it is time to get rid of that someone that is no longer serving you or someone that is just a waste of time. You know, it, it overall, you know, it really is a great reading. You, you just need to get rid of someone and, and allow someone new to come into your life. Really. All right, let's move on to couples. Dating. Exclusively married. Virgos. Married. Coupled. Virgo subscriber spirit. June 15th to July 15th. Couples. Chariot, sign of cancer. Emperor, Aries, Taurus. Five of Pentacles. That's a big love, too. Couples. All my Virgo couples. Spirit, June 15th to July 15th. Okay, that one flipped up. Forgiving and learning. Okay, this is this really is a beautiful card. So if you're coupled, married, and you have been having issues like you know most couples do, at some point you definitely need to forgive and learn. You know, with the Five of Pentacles. It looks like you guys need to bring the fun back into your life. You know, if it looks like you're trying to get a little bit frivolous, the emperor does appear to be happy. You know, he, he feels serious. This person looks like, you know, they need to have some fun. Whether this is your spouse or your partner that you're committed to, you know, this person is very much an authority figure. And your partner or marriage, you know, with the chariot, is somebody willing to go the distance? It's also, you know, a surprise attack coming. So it could be that maybe you, you have been fighting with your partner. It's time to put an end to that so that you know, you could be, you, you could be going into two different directions with, with the partnership or marriage. You could be traveling. One of you could be left behind a little bit. You know, the ch but the chariot still is a victory card, but it might have been a hard one. All right, let's clarify. Let's look at the chariot, definitely. Definitely, this one wants to come. Like the hermit, you're overthinking. Some of you are overthinking stuff, just like the emperor. Because he looks like he's thinking way too much as well. Overthinking about which direction you want to go in. 
The hermit card puts you into introspection. But sometimes it's just too much. That's what I'm getting. Let's look at the emperor. Getting over your thoughts, your emotions. The Emperor for my couples. I definitely this one. The King of Pentacles. Really look at this card, okay? This is intimidation. You definitely have an intimidating person in your midst. This could be an Aries or an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So I think maybe your partner is worried about finances, maybe career, money. Let me look at the Five of Pentacles. Okay, wow, temperance again. Um... There is definitely balance and patience that's needed. But if you bring the fun back into your relationship, I honestly feel that you will balance out. You know, you, you if you have been fighting, if you haven't been on the same page, which is what the, the chariot can be sometimes, you know, not being on the same page with your partner, you know, forgive, learn, heal. You know, let go of the past. You do that and great things will happen. And it, it really, it'll be an amazing month. All right, Virgo, just let it go. Forgive, learn, heal. Amazing. Beautiful. All right, Virgo, I hope the reading helps you guys out for the month. If not, watch your other signs. But thank you for watching the video. Have a beautiful month, and I will see you guys back here for the morning cards. Take care.